What is up guys, we're back again. This speaking point is gonna be straight from the heart. I feel like a lot of people like to talk about this and it's why do Christians feel the need to impose on other people or judge other people for things they do? From a follower of Jesus, God and Holy Spirit, we are going about teaching other people or helping other people but it is very hard for a lot of people to come off without being judgy, without like offending somebody else. A common thing that I like to think about is a comparison between having a relationship with God through Jesus and having a cure for cancer. Now, if you had the cure, you personally, would you share this with your friends and family? Or would you keep it just for yourself? Because that is a common thing that many people suffer with as they get older. The idea here is with a relationship with God through Jesus, you have a completely different belief, a completely different outlook on life. And I will be the first one to say, I thought in my head that I was the most suicidal, depressed, anxious person in the world. I was convinced of it. The simple fact and the simple truth of where I'm at right now is I live almost completely free of any depression or anxiety because of my constant knowledge through the Bible, growing with God, having a relationship with God. It completely changed my life. For me to keep this for myself, you guys can kind of get the similarities between uh, the cure to cancer. Would you keep that from your family if you knew? Would you keep that from your friends if you knew? Would you keep that from strangers if you were taught to love everybody like a brother and sister? Would you be selfish with the information that you were given or would you try to give to others so that they can also feel this freedom that comes with knowing things that many people don't? When the Bible gives you answers to things and when pastors, Sunday services give you answers to things that you couldn't find on Google, would you then pass that on to help others or would you keep them for yourself? If you were to keep them for yourself, I think that you seriously need to reflect on where you are in life because for most people, they're gonna try to help family and friends, others with the information they're given. So it is a very slippery slope trying to help people and also not sounding judgy. I think that's what a lot of Christians deal with today. And the simple fact is it has to come from a place of love and caring, not a place of judgment. And I think a lot of people do try to do that from a, a, a point of love and caring, but you also have to be considerate of how you sound and how you convey your thoughts and how you speak to others because you don't want to get into a mindset of judgment or come across as judging other people because only God can judge you, only God can judge me. So, with that moving forward, I just wanted to make that a point of conversation today because a lot of people ask, well, why do Christians always feel the need to impose on others? And then I get the reverse question, why is there such a back and forth? Why is there such a divide? Well. There is a divide in politics too, and I have seen the worst side of politics and what it does to people and how it divides people. And you have to remember that that is the opposite of what you learn through reading the Bible, going to church. Hopefully this can be a lesson, a life lesson for some people. Um, it actually recently sparked in my mind because of a, a debate I was seeing here on TikTok itself. So I was like, let's talk about it today. And that is uh, what God gave me the idea to talk about that on video today like popped right into my head. So thank you guys for letting me speak to you. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, I love the conversation. Keep it going in the comments down below. And if you are curious about anything related to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, contact me, comment, anything like that. I am fully open to anybody that is curious or if they just want me to pray for them or you want other people to pray for you. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. God bless and I'll see you in the next one.